thank you to Blue Umbrella and Nothing Alike for requesting this episode. Welcome to Conlang Critic, the show that gets facts wrong about your favorite conlang. I'm Jan Misely, and in this episode, we'll finally be looking at another international language, fluid lang. And don't worry, the next few after this one will be about interlangs too. That's right, Conlang Critic is back and better than ever? No, that's not true. Anyway, fluid lang is an interlang created in 2015 by... <sighs> Reddit user Andrew the Conlanger, and has been continuously updated by the FluidLang subreddit. The version I'll be looking at is version 1.0.6, which was published in late 2016. Its goal is to be an oligosynthetic language that's unambiguous while still having minimal vocabulary. Its consonants are b, d, g, p, t, k, v, z, l. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. From what I can tell, this is the consonant inventory of Rotokas, or Rotakas as the reference grammar calls it, with the addition of a few more sounds. The new sounds don't even make sense though, especially if you look at the pronunciations that are there for people who can't distinguish sounds by voiceiness. Does <sighs> the fluid lang subreddit actually expect someone to be able to distinguish between v and v, or between l and r? And why is z here instead of sh or z or s? This just doesn't make much sense. Fluid Lang's vowels are e, e, u, u, e, e, o, o, a, 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 a. Okay, wow, this is way worse. This is also based on Rotocast, but with an extra vowel added. There's something I'd like to make absolutely clear. If you want your phonology to be international, five vowels is a maximum. Three vowels is the best possible option for an internationalized vowel inventory. Wait, why? You might ask. Well, there's this language you might have heard of that's called Arabic. It's one of the most commonly spoken languages in the world, and it's one of many three-vowel languages. Of course, five-vowel languages are common too, but speakers of three-vowel languages have a harder time adjusting to a five-vowel system than the other way around. And of course, both will have a hard time adjusting to a six-vowel system. On top of that, fluid lang, admittedly like Rotocast, has vowel length. Yeah, this phonology is just 100% bad. And yet the orthography is kinda worse? First off, why are there diacritical marks? Like, you can totally just write long vowels by writing the same vowel twice in a row. And then there's this thing. This thing has no reason to be here. Not only does it represent an unneeded extra vowel, but it's written with a diacritic even though the Latin alphabet happens to have a letter that fluid lang doesn't use that happens to represent a vowel sound. And its long form has two diacritics. That's just so unnecessary. If you're not using the entire Latin alphabet, you shouldn't have diacritical marks. Even Vautgill knew that, and it's Vautgill. There's also a version of fluid lang orthography that's written with Hangul that the reference grammar says isn't shown shortly before showing it, so... Fluid lang verbs decline for tense, person, gender, and number. This is a completely naturalistic thing to do, but it makes literally no sense for an interlang. There are 30 different forms of every single verb. Compare that to English, with verbs that have, at most, eight forms, or Mandarin, with verbs that have one form. This is the sort of information that can be, should be, and often is conveyed with pronouns and adverbs. Nouns decline for case and number, which is fine, I guess, even though that's totally information that can be conveyed with word order and adjectives. Fluid lang vocabulary has 130 morphemes, or, as the reference grammar boasts, the same number as Tokipona, also seven more. And yet, it clearly doesn't know what needs to be a morpheme. There's a distinction between place and state, and yet die and stop are the same word. The word for but also means since, which absolutely do not mean the same thing, and the word for if also means because, which absolutely does mean the same thing as since. Lastly, there must always be words for yes and no, the reference grammar claims ignorantly. You don't need words for yes and no if you already have words for right and wrong, you dingus. All in all, I'd say that I like fluid lang more than I like Aoi, but not as much as Igade, making it the third best interlang reviewed so far. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, where I'll be reviewing the absolute most highly requested episode yet, Toki Pona. Hey everyone, it's Yan Misali, here to talk about stuff. First off, the small list available on tokiitolipona.tumblr.com slash plan is coming to an end. Don't worry though, because after the release of the Toki Pona episode, which will come sometime in February, there will be a new small list available from the same link as the current one, and the languages that will be covered in episodes 13 to 24 will be revealed. If you want to request an episode, then please be aware that there have been many people who have requested many languages before you did, and it will take me a very long time to get to yours. However, if you want to request an episode anyway, you can do that in the comments section, on Twitter, on Tumblr, or in the dedicated channel of the Discord chat. 
One more thing. Conlang Critic, a show about languages, is currently only available in one language. If you are multilingual and have free time, please help the show become more available internationally by translating the subtitles. If you do, then any request you make for a future episode will count as one and a half requests. There's links in the description for all this stuff. Thank you so much for your support, by the way. I'm really looking forward to the next couple of videos. See you then.